All right, hello everyone, and welcome to this month's Cuban Network's Nonprofit Spotlight. Today I'm very happy to be with Jason Zedeman from Combat Bike Savers. Uh, they're located in Crown Point, Indiana, and uh, Jason, tell me a little bit about Combat uh, Bike Savers. Yeah, we're uh, so we're a registered nonprofit or 501c3. Uh, we actually have locations in Indiana, um, Tallahassee, Alabama, and Oakdale, California. Mm -hmm. um, so we started up in 2015. Uh, basically, on um, you know the verge of you know all these organizations out there spreading awareness about problems, and nobody was actually doing anything about the problem. Right. So you're talking about problems like PTSD, PTSD, TBI, depression, uh, post service. Uh, when when veterans get out of the military, um, they kind of are at a loss, mm -hmm. you know, to to fit back into society. They, right. They've gone from protecting their country, and now basically. Uh, their government has said that, that that you're no longer needed and you can't serve. Uh, you're done. Right. You know, you've done your time. Uh, we no longer need you. You know, you know, take it easy. Right. How do you take it easy when you're so used to serving? Kind sure. Of that thing? So we created this organization um, that is a hands-on therapy, a distraction therapy kind of program that creates... Um, uh, so we create motorcycles or, uh, mm -hmm. I mean, it started off motorcycles, but now we do like all kinds of different uh, hands-on vocational kind of uh, projects. It's, right. It's distractive. So we are working on something in, in, in troubleshooting, just like this table here, you know. Right. I built this thing out of wood and steel and parts, and it's kind of uh, using your imagination and, and distracting you from your problems and your other things. But in the meantime, you're also hanging out with other veterans and yeah. being able to have that that camaraderie yeah. you know, back that you once had because you don't have that anymore. Right. Like all the guys that I served with, they've gone their own separate ways and they live in all different states all around the country and I don't get to see them every day. So right. One of the things that we miss the most is hanging out with other veterans and right. speaking that language. Yeah, you know? for sure. No filters, of course. Sure, yeah, right. You know, So just being able to have that place to have that camaraderie plus get to do cool things and build motorcycles. And it's a totally free program, so they get to build motorcycles for free here. That's awesome. They just have to get in line. We're a small facility. Right. So we don't have much. You and know. you're doing all aspects of it, the welding, the cutting, the painting, yep. you know, all of those Everything. things, right? From from beginning to that, that piece of junk, and that's where it's metaphorical, um, is, and this is how I came up with this idea of taking this, this motorcycle that is beaten up and forgotten about that's been sitting in a shed for 20 years and yeah. it's just everybody hasn't thought about it anymore and then you take this veteran that's got those same issues and problems yeah and they kind of resurrect each other that's awesome and then that motorcycle is that thing that they get to be proud of and show off and say i built this thing yeah you know? and it was free yeah so no that's that's fantastic and so you're uh you have three locations across uh, across the U.S., so you're touching veterans really kind of all over the place. Yeah, right? which is yeah. that's that's pretty awesome. We're working on several other states: Missouri, um, Oklahoma, Texas, Florida, and possibly Montana. Wow, so, yeah, that's fantastic. Yeah. So if uh, if if people wanted to help, right, uh, what would be some good avenues that that, that people could help? <clears throat> well, first off, you can go to uh, number one is go to our website. Okay. Uh, go to our website. It's www.combatbikesaver.org. Okay. Um, and on there, you know, there's plenty of different areas on there to, if you just hit the donate page, mm -hmm. um, there's volunteer. Okay. You know, so you can volunteer to, to help out. Right. Um, even if you live in a different area, get with your local American Legion or VFW okay. or host a fundraiser or like if, sure. if, if you really believe in, in programs like this. Um, or if you're a veteran out there and you want this program started up, right. you know, we have actually a section on there that you can, uh, you can attempt to open up your own okay. chapter cool. of the organization. Yeah. So if you want it bad enough in your state, make it happen. Gotcha. You can make it happen. So, so. when they click on that donate, there's all kinds of options there yep. from, from financial to help. To, yeah, financial, okay. any way you want to donate, whether it's monetary or you want to physically help, if you want to send us care packages. Okay. Um, there's tons of different ways that you can donate there. Uh, we have several different programs that you can donate to that are within our organization. Uh, we have uh, Lima Charlie, which is our veteran peer support mm -hmm. group, which doesn't need any funding really. We just hang out here and, okay. and we discuss things uh, in, sure. in you know in close quarters uh, with veterans. Yep. Uh, but then we have our uh, FAT program, which is fit fitness and tranquility program, uh, and then we also have your on, on your feet program, which helps with financial assistance. 
And then we have another program called the Blaster Program that helps veterans with A to B transportation vehicles, either gotcha. fixing their vehicle or finding them a new vehicle. Okay. So they can get to and from appointments Great. or work. Or... Okay. So uh, then you already answered my third question usually, which is how do they find out more about you, right? So your website is, is the yep. place. Mm -hmm. So um, I just want to thank you for your service, like not only like, you know, in uniform, but but out of uniform, mm -hmm. right? You know, I mean, what you're doing here is, is touching mm -hmm. lots and lots of lives. And, um, you know, for me personally, it's a, just a, it's, a, it's a big deal. Like, it's not lost on me that I live in a great country and have a great life. And it's, mm -hmm. it's brave people that put the neck out there that makes that available. So, okay. so thanks Thank for you. all your time. Thank you. Yep. All right. All right. Thanks, everybody.